Stuff. No stress. No stress. Hey, None this is Neil here with the Authentic Radio Show with my series Who's Who in Santa Cruz. And today I'm in one of the uh, special places of Santa Cruz here in Pleasure Point, and that is Waves and Fades with Elias Campbell. Hello. Uh, question number one, Elias. Yes, sir. I, only, I just have one question. The rest of it we kind of just ad lib. Okay. Please tell me your favorite Marianne's ice cream flavor. Well, I can't eat dairy, lactose here. So if they have any lactose free things, that is easily my favorite. Okay. I don't it know has what they're lactose have. free. That's a good, <laughs> I've never come across that. I think they got like a, what's that like? Raspberry puree type stuff. They you know do, like it, yeah. Like a sorbet. Yeah, sorbet, yeah. Like a sorbet. Okay. That's my favorite. Okay, Elias, now can you, you like me, I don't remember anything, but can you give me an idea, just a general idea of when this idea came to pass that you have, a, you have, uh, you cut hair here? Yeah. Surfboards here? Right. You have beer beer here? We got it all. And I'm probably missing yeah. out a few things, some <laughs> other things that you that's might have. That's the gist. Huh? Yeah, that's the main gist. Main gist. How did it come about? Well, I knew pretty early on school was not my thing at all. Didn't really fit in the classroom setting with dyslexia and I was just trying to hang out with friends and be outside, you know, however that looked, surfing, skating, chilling. Was that in Santa Cruz? That was back in the Bay by Oakland, okay. that's where I grew up. Yeah. We'd come out here all the time. My dad was born here, his dad was born here. His dad moved here and like, 30 something you know yeah yeah so the goal was always to move back to santa cruz just but the people the weather the surf the culture everything but i knew early on school is not for me and i started getting into cutting hair like a you know in the locker room in high school friends all that and i was like man i could like you know i started doing the math and i was like oh i could pay like rent doing this you know <laughs> yeah. so then i went to barber college and i was like just kind of went to school to see what happened and then somebody in school was like, you know, like you can own your own spot, you know? And I was like, man, I should do that, you know? And I like surfing, I wanted to move here. So I just thought like, well, that'd be kind of cool to like, kind of do two in one, you know? I like surfing, yeah. Yeah. I like the lifestyle of like, not cutting hair full time, you know, from sunrise to sunset. And then I moved here after working at a barber shop in San Francisco. How long was barber college for? How long did you do that for? It was about nine months. Did you know? Did, did you know? Did you? Did they tell you, or did you know you had skill to cut hair? Yeah, I was cutting before. I've always really loved working with my hands. Yeah. So I think it, you know, certain parts of it came super easy, you know, but certain technical parts obviously took a little bit more work and fine tuning. Yeah. But the general, like, you know, talking to people and hanging out and like making them look good and feel good while you're hosting kind of a party, you know. You're like, it's your environment, so you're hosting this whole thing, and I yeah, love Because you drive hosting. by here, this place is always kind of buzzing. Yeah, that's what I right. hope. Well, thank you so much. That's a major compliment, and that's what I, I don't know, I love to have people over at my own house and, like, making them food and giving right. them drinks, and that's kind of the, the aesthetic of the shop I wanted, or the feel, you know, where it's kind of like a fun little, it's a party, you know? Like yeah. the ancient, you know, from the beginning of time, we've been cutting hair, and people have come and gathering together at barber shops and salons and yeah. stuff, you know? So I wanted that feel with a taste of surf, and I didn't really think the surf was gonna really turn into anything, more like the aesthetic, maybe sell a board a year, you know, yeah. kind of thing. More for, more, maybe more for decoration than, than, than as, yeah. a, as a profitable item? Yeah, like for the aesthetic, you know? It's yeah. like, oh, we're kind of like in Santa Cruz, you know? <laughs> and then I met, uh, I think I might be jumping ahead. So moved here, oh, I was in the city, and somebody was like, I was telling that idea to one of my clients, and he's like, you should name it Waves and Fades, you know? And I was like, oh, it's like a really stupid name. Like, I'm not going to name it. That's so, like, it's funny, you know? That's, that's not one I'm going to name my business. And then I moved here. And then Lori, you know, we signed the lease with, with our landlords. Yeah. And they're like, what are you going to name it? I'm like, I think Waves and Fades is the name I'm going to go with, you know? And it just kind of blew up. I met CJ, CJ Nelson, and he's yeah. been an amazing support. Gave us a ton of boards at the very beginning to start the process. And then... You know, my dad jumped in. He started selling boards. He was like the main sal salesman. I think we were number two in the in the world for CJ Nelson boards. So we, I, I mean, I certainly, I'm sure you just saw more CJ Nelson boards out here in Pleasure Point than ever before. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, right. and I think that's a lot to do with CJ, a lot to do with my dad, and the location. Thank you, Lori, and I don't know, just the community around us. You know, yeah. it's pretty special. I yeah. Think. Yeah. 
special spot. It really so is. So how many yeah. how many care cuts you do in a week? How many do, do, do you do a week? And you've got other barbers here, right? You got you got. Yeah, there's four of us right now. Yeah. We have five chairs. So if you know of anybody that's looking for okay. a job, so chairs, chairs are open. This we chairs, got a chair open. There's a chair for rent. Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. okay. Right. We got that. But yeah, there's four of us, and we stay pretty booked. And we do anywhere. I mean, we all make our own schedule, you know. Yeah. So I'll like come in at nine to noon, surf from noon to three, come back from noon or from three to six, you know. So it's pretty flexible. So for someone for somebody to rent that chair mm -hmm. from you, do they have to surf? They don't have to. Nobody else surfs in here except for me. Oh, just, just I'm surf? the only one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know if they can swim. They can swim. They can swim. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's I don't know. Having knowledge and of the surf culture. It's a barber shop. You have women cut, get their hair cut here, or mostly men. Yeah, if you have short hair, we don't specialize in longer okay. women's haircuts, yeah. you know. But if they want a like, clean fade or yeah. something like that, we this, can. We definitely do a lot of those. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, this is the big. This is series one. We're gonna do a bunch of series about ways yeah. and fades. We're gonna carry on here, and uh, I appreciate next it. week maybe we'll grab a beer or something. Be great. But uh, once again, Elias, congratulations on this. has been a, a huge success for yeah, you. Yeah, uh, very grateful. It's great to have. It's great to have you here at Pleasure Point. It's a it's a state Pleasure Point. And hope you're here for years to come. Me too. Thank you so much. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. You're welcome.